comes this Magic Q tutorial using the Magic Viz Visualizer. I'm going to demonstrate how to start a new show and enter uh, fixtures into the visualizer. So first of all we're going to go to Setup, we're going to start a new show, erase the old show from memory and I'm going to start in normal mode. I'm then going to go to Patch and I'm going to go and choose a head and I'm going to go and choose uh, a clay packy light. So we've got clay packy here. I'm going to choose a uh, Alpha Spot HPE 1500. Standard CMY mode. I'm going to patch it. I'm going to patch four of them. Magic you asked me whether I want to put it in the visualizer. I say yes. Now I can now open the visualizer window. You don't have to have the visualizer window open when you're uh, making the patch. You can see my four fixtures are now automatically in the visualizer. If I go to view viz in the patch window then I can see those four selected heads. Uh, around the wheels here we've got position on this side and then rotation on this side. So I can move those four lights around in the visualizer. I can also move them up and down. If I turn fan on, then when I change the position, then they'll fan apart. You can see like that. I can also go in here and I can select an attach object. If I insert an attach object, like a truss, and you see there's a truss inserted in there. I can move the truss around in 3D space. If I go back to my select objects, I can say fit to object. I get a list of all the objects that I've got in the visualizer. I'm going to select truss one. Now the four fixtures have moved onto that truss. If I then go back to my attach object, now if I move that item around, you can see that all of the fixtures will move around together with the truss. I can rotate using the rotation here three different axes. So now I'm going to add some more fixtures. So this time I'm going to choose some more heads. This time I'm going to select Roby and I'm going to go down and select uh, Spot 250. I'm going to patch six of those into the show and um, this time it doesn't ask me whether I want to put them into Visualizer, it will just put them automatically because it knows that uh, that's what I'm doing. And you can see they're now in the Visualizer. I can add another truss. And go back to my lights. I can fit those to truss 2. And just as before, I can move that truss around. I can change the height and the length of the truss. So for example I could make it a shorter truss as you can see there. And I could go back and fit my pictures to that truss now so they fit on the truss. And I can move it around as I want to. So we've now got those spots in our visualizer. If we want to go and look at all of the visualizer heads we can look at them here. So I've got my four Clay Packy Alpha Spots and my six Alpha Spot 250s. If I want to move an individual one, I can go and put the cursor on it in these heads and then move that individual one. So you can see that I'm moving the individual head there. So that's quite useful if you want to just start by fitting all of your fixtures to the truss and then to make minor modifications in this view here. You can also select multiple ones using the cursor and then you'll select those together. So in, the, so in the Viz Heads view it's selecting the ones at the cursor whereas in Selected Heads it's selecting the ones that are in the group selection that is used by Magic Q. 
Now that we've got those fixtures in the visualizer, we can go back to our normal layout one. We've got our groups of spots here. So this is the clay packies. I can locate them so you can see them. Use them as you would expect. I can select my spots there, and you can use those. So all your fixtures are automatically in the visualizer. You don't need to do anything. Um, we've got all the palettes and gobos ready to go. You can change how your visualizer looks by going to view and I've got dark here. Do fine control of the room brightness and fixture brightness by going to file, settings and then adjusting the room brightness or the beam brightness. You've also got some other useful options in this window to allow Magic Q so that for some fixtures it doesn't draw the beams. This can be useful if your graphics card is not that powerful. You can change the viewpoint of the visualizer by going to view and changing, for instance, to top view, front view, side view, or the free view. In the free view, you can use the mouse to move around exactly how you want to see your lighting rig. If you want to remove one of your fixtures from the visualizer, then you just go to the patch and the view visualizer. Go you know, to visualize the head so you can see all your heads. And I could choose just to take out two of those fixtures by selecting them and pressing remove. So now those fixtures are gone from the visualizer. Do the same thing with those fixtures there. The same if you want to remove an attach object. You go to attach objects, you say remove. You can add fixtures back into the visualizer at any time. So for example, to add back in those uh, spots, we can go select them again, then go to our, our visualizer, and if we insert another truss, I'll move that truss up so we can see where it is and then I go back to my selected heads and I insert the selected heads into the visualizer. I can then attach them to the object and so they're back in the visualizer again. So that's the basics of using the Magic Viz visualizer. For further info please visit www.camsys.co.uk